Italy was put under considerable pressure from European leaders to come up with credible ideas to rein in its enormous debt and get the economy growing again. In the days before the summit, fraught discussions in Rome ended with proposals for labour reforms and a plan to raise cash by selling off state-owned buildings. In the final decision, there's been the recognition of our ambitious projects, which now need to be achieved. Naturally, we gave the dates by which we have to achieve each measure. The Prime Minister of Greece, whose debt mountain has been the main focus of worry over the Eurozone recently, said the agreement was historic. We managed to escape from this default trap. The fact that we're still here today is a big achievement for the Greek people, so today I think we can close a chapter and start with all our strength working on a new future for our country. But the bailout demands even more ambitious reforms in Greece, a country already hit by violent protests over existing austerity measures.